about becoming. It's about connecting to God. It's about freedom. I really look at it like it's it's a way of life and it's an option, you know. And it's a source that we all can tap into and we can, you know, use um, mercy as a medium to express um, as well as as a source to to be inspired by. It's a both way tunnel. And um, Spirituality and wealth and community. But what we're really doing is unifying humanity. You know, it's 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 about not having society have such a grip on us. It's about being free. You know, it's about peace and having value outside of what society says is valuable, you know, in placing what we, you know, emotionally deem as valuable as internal qualities and, and states. So our goals are naturally states. So it's, we put the importance in, on going within get into a peaceful state because the world is going to tell you that you're invaluable unless you have this. You're invaluable unless you do that. But what you have is completely irrelevant because it doesn't benefit anybody um, except for you and your family. And it, you know, only a small fraction of it is what you need and the rest is what society tells you you should have to be valuable. Like this, if you have this, I will embrace you and I will accept you. So fuck all of that. So it's not about what you have. And it's not about what you do. Because that can only go so far. Doing can only go so far. Humanity is going to erase over time and misinterpret shit. Um, you know, what we do, if we even deem it significant, it's going to be lost in translation, you know, so that only goes so far, because that's still physical, and there's power structures in place to limit the impact of what someone does, or what a group of people can do, so I really believe that it's about what we become, and the greatest tool that we have to become more and more powerful is meditation. You know, meditation is our direct access to God. Meditation is the same as prayer. It's just without dialogue and it's without self, hopefully. And it's it can be religious or it cannot be. I believe in every religion and I believe in no religions. And that's the power of mercy. But it feels like something more um, significant than what we get from anything else, what we're able to give through anything else. You know, but it's not limited to product or music or food or retail. It's a state. It's an energy field. And I don't take ownership over the energy field. Something is being expressed through us, and it's our position in it is the same as a window. 
and allowing light to come in. And it's also cathartic. You, know, you can be vulnerable. This is a safe space for any and everyone. And it's important to look at humanity as, as the context, as our client, or as you know, the person that needs healing that we are, that we make up as well. You know, and if we look at humanity as a whole, as a person that is trying to figure this shit out, as a person that's flawed, as a person that's limited, you don't need to judge that person. You just need to love that person. And be present for that person and listen. So this is a safe space to listen and express through. And it's, it's the same as reading a self-help book. It's a utility for you to grow, for us all to grow. You know, I'm, I'm insecure about plenty of things. Am I a great father? What am I doing with this life? I want this to be significant. How can I surrender the idea of me so I can be used by God? So this has to be uplifting humanity for me. It has to be uplifting humanity. And it's about demonstration and being visible and accessible. Because we, we're at a point in humanity to where it's a shift in consciousness. And a lot of times we're connecting through content. And I realized that content creates the demand for tangible products. And mastery level content is story. So when I take inventory of the stories of my life, I have a wealth of stories, of great stories, that'll raise your level of awareness with each one. And that's the truth that's being expressed in mercy. Inner honesty and truth and purity and integrity as much as we can. <laughs> and to embrace people that don't look like us and embrace people that do. And to speak for underrepresented and educate people who are overrepresented. Nah, they, they the color. We're a Yeah, it does. But that's where they get these shits from. They go inside caves and break it off or whatever piece fell. We're a testament to something greater than us. Yeah. We should have. Uh... A tree, an oak tree, not a seed, knows that it's an oak tree. It just has to actualize that. But even at a, as a seed, it understands that it's powerful. So that's what we are. We're powerful. And the creator that created all of this, every single tree, every single leaf, Every single idea that every single one of us has, every single feeling, every single emotion, the, the wind on your skin, the wind going through your hair, the ether, that same creator is 
inside of us. We have access to this creator. Closer between the two. So we don't need to measure our success on things outside of us or things that a, a society says that we think this is valuable. We can educate ourselves. Education just means to draw out. And as we begin to really embrace ourselves within and not use the organ of the mind, but feel it instead of thinking. Connect to one, each other, one another, to each other, and we can feel empathy. I want to feel empathy.